Amartya Sen is an Indian and Bengali economist born in 1933 and winner of a Nobel Prize in economics. Sen is such an important figure in development that he's going to get several video units. When Sen was appointed to Harvard University, he received a professorship not only in the economics department but also in the philosophy department. So we're going to start with Sen on philosophy. Development economists or policy advisors often find themselves in the position of having to address you know, what really is a good outcome anyway. The typical standard of economics is to identify a good outcome with greater wealth or higher GDP. But Sen made the point that a country can be wealthy, but perhaps not everyone in that country is very happy, or maybe people don't live very long, or maybe they have lives which are by some standard impoverished or lacking. So Sen has been a consistent critic of using wealth or GDP as a metric for a good outcome. A second common standard is to ask, how happy are the people in a given country or region? But Sen makes the point that happiness is an extremely subjective thing to judge. It's very hard to say who is happy and who is not. Finally, some philosophers, some observers, suggest what is called a basic needs standard for a developing economy. Look at a region and ask, do people in that place have their basic needs satisfied? But which exactly needs are basic and which are not basic? Sen has stressed the point that the basic needs standard, it's about what you send people, and it's not really about what they can do with what they've been sent. So for all these reasons, Sen has rejected wealth, happiness, and basic needs as the best standards for a good outcome. What then? Sen suggests the notion of capabilities. Capabilities as a positive option which are the choices that people have which they are free to realize? What are the things they can do? What is within their grasp? What kind of lives do they have? What kind of possible achievements can they choose from? This is Sen's notion of what is a good outcome. When one outcome offers better capabilities to the citizens of a region than another, we can judge that to be the better outcome. For Sen, capabilities is an absolute concept, not a relative concept. It doesn't depend upon comparing the options of one person to another. And the notion of capabilities for Sen, it also respects human diversity. That is, it notes that simply sending people resources doesn't make their lives good. The question is, what can people do with those resources? So Sen at one point makes the example of a bicycle. If you send a bicycle to a person who is disabled, you haven't actually improved that person's capabilities very much if the disabled person does not have the capacity to ride the bicycle. This is all very abstract and philosophical. What does it mean on a concrete level? Well, people disagree. But one thing is for sure, Sen developed these ideas in the 1980s, and they have had a big impact on the United Nations Human Development Index. The Human Development Index doesn't only look at wealth, but it looks at life expectancy, adult literacy, and school enrollment in judging how good an outcome is and judging how developed a country is. Sen himself stresses that he does not have a particular or exact list in mind for the relevant capabilities. From Sen's point of view, it's really something that an individual country or region needs to choose using a democratic process. But other people who have been influenced by Sen, they have talked quite a bit about what the capabilities should be. Some philosophers have suggested health, play, imagination, gender equality, autonomy, freedom of speech, all as being possibly important parts of the capabilities concept. Where do we stand with this? The critics say that Sen's notion of capabilities makes some sense, but it's very hard to operationalize. We do have one operationalization, the UN Development Index. It remains to be seen how much more useful we can make Sen's notions of capabilities. But when it comes to how do we judge whether one outcome is better than another, it does seem the idea of capabilities has important advantages over wealth, happiness, or basic needs.